Y'all know what it is. We're about to jump into it. We're talking about High Priestess Energy. This is a question that came to me earlier today and a deal with someone in the spiritual sisterhood. And uh, this is very important to talk about. What happens to the Divine Masculine when the High Priestess removes our energy? We all have seen it. Um, a Divine Masculine that is not acting appropriately uh, towards the High Priestess. He is not respecting the Sovereign Feminine. He is treating her with lack. He is treating her with disregard. And as a result, she removes herself. And sometimes we see changes and decline in his life circumstances once she removes herself. And primarily, this is something that happens because... This happens because you're looking at we're in a double. Now, I want to tell y'all, we're in a double uh, arc, we're double major deck, which means there's two of each card, two versions of each card. So we're looking at the devil, the second version in the major arcana. Because she's outsmarted the devil. Period. She's outsmarted him. She's reduced him. She has reduced him down to the just get, 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 get your ass up out of here. She has reduced him. Okay? She has reduced him down. Queen of Wands energy in the second. She has reduced him down. And she understands the importance of protecting her own hearth, her own energy. Um, okay, and we see blind justice. See, this is very important because the high priestess is always going to separate herself. The sovereign feminine is always going to uh, separate herself when she sees that a masculine energy is trying to play or feminine energy is trying to place her in a situation where she is going to be at a lack right blind justice so there is no justice okay the justice is all about things being done that benefit one person in a relationship and that is something that the sovereign feminine will absolutely not not exist in it is just no way she's also not going to accept small offerings page of pentacles she's not interested she's not going to just sit around and mommy someone okay and these are all things that leave this divine masculine or feminine who has been, you know, left destitute now that the sovereign feminine, the high priestess energy is gone. Now, kind of wishing to make a better offer, still not the best offer, offer Knight of Pentacles. They are left empty. The moon, the second of the moon, they are left empty. Empty with nothing. The high priestess, as you can see, turns her back. And this leaves them... This leaves them empty. This leaves them making an offering now to no one. As you as you can see, there's no one left. She has turned her back. And it is the point that she turns her back. Okay. That now this King of Pentacles true nature comes out. He is left with his own karma. King of Pentacles in the second. We see him hiding. He hiding his little coins. Okay. Now he can tell the truth. Hey, I'm stingy. I'm selfish. I'm hiding my whatever I have to offer. And that becomes the day of judgment. Okay? That becomes the day of judgment. That becomes the day that uh, karma. Hey, sis. Karma. Portals into his world. We see the world card. And we see karma. This is the second, the second card, uh, the world in the second card. She is portaling in. She is coming in. And that's what happens when the sovereign feminine removes herself. It, it creates room for that. His own energy is able to basically allow the the hair when we see the angels making the announcement here his own energy allows his own energy allows the ancestors to say okay go ahead go ahead let karma come through which karma is attributed to father saturn we all know and look at this karma come through karma come through dirty do y'all see him page of swords eight up Birds coming down on them, vultures coming down on them like he dead flesh. And this is the true reality of the condition of his soul. If anybody has ever watched or heard of the movie Dorian Gray that speaks of the condition of someone's soul, it's been made a million times. Um, it's a very old book by Oscar Wilde, if you want to read the book. It speaks very much to this type of thing of, of the condition of a man's soul and what happens when it is polluted. This, this is the type of man. Uh, when you walk away, sovereign feminine, and you see a man just, because Carmen just walk in on his ass and tear, just tear, just tear his ass up like that right there. That speaks to you about the condition of his soul. Because as soon as there was no more sovereign energy in his life, and he was able to be contacted by his own karma. Speaks volumes. There's nobody to hold back the dam now. And he is left deranged and confused based on his own filth. 
And I'm actually going to leave this one right here because this is, this is a reading about understanding. Okay. This is why you can walk out of someone's life and it seems like everything goes for bad when you leave high priestess energy, uh, masculine and feminine, sovereign feminine energies, sovereign masculine energies. You walk out the door and this person's life just seems to just whoop, right downhill. It's because you are no longer there. Your energy holding back the dams and his ancestors make that announcement that say, get them. What Meek Mill say? They told me, get them, I got them. Period. If you like what you saw, thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot T. Like, subscribe, share. There's always somebody that needs this message in the collective. So don't just think of yourself, think of them. See you in the next one.